Hey everybody. So as you know, I sent out a l video e-blast last week letting you all know about a link that was upcoming and sending that for COVID choirs. So that link is now available and so far the main and only choir that is within that link is pertaining to transfiguration. Um, understand that each of these separate choirs is its own unique thing. It will record in advance of the event that it's going to be um, named after. And over the course of now, between, uh, between now and Easter, there will be six total. So it's important that you are aware of that. And you may be saying, well, why can't we just have choir on a weekly basis um, for the a time period and then have people come and go as they please or learn everything or learn nothing? Well, because there's different reasons why people may not be able to participate in everything. And I can't give you the flexibility to come and go as you please because I have to keep track of each individual person, whether it's for contact tracing or whether it's for uh, social distancing or whether it's even for just things like balance and making sure that everybody has materials they need. So we have to treat these individually. And that means that every time there's a new COVID choir recording upcoming for another event, there will be a new sign up sheet, information sheet with recording and rehearsal dates and all of that stuff. There will be new accompaniment tracks, there will be new rehearsal tracks, there will be new sheet music. So right now, the folder that you got the link to only looks like it has transfiguration in there, but eventually there will be also Sisters in Song Lent, Brotherhood of Harmony Lent, um, there will be Palm Sunday, there will be Tenebrae, and there will be Easter. Each of those is individual. Like I said, it will have its own set of rehearsals that will take place at different times and will, um, will be different dates. And depending on your schedule, you may only be able to commit to some of those, which is fine. That's why I'm giving you that flexibility. But you need to make sure that you follow through and you sign up independently for each thing. Now, that process has been difficult for some folks. So I took the liberty of making a video that I'm gonna tack on the end of this intro to help you navigate. Now, I realize some people are doing tablets, some are doing laptops, um, PC, Mac, whatever, and, and then I'm using, trying to link to Google products, okay? So it seemed to me that the most difficult scenario would be the small screen of a phone and it be an Apple or iPhone using the iOS uh, stuff from Apple trying to navigate to Google products which would have to be app based or or whatever so if you are a person who has an iPhone and have tr have struggled to get access to these links I'm going to take you through a process to help with that so that you can navigate that yes it's several several parts and yes you know I try to be lengthy and descriptive about it, but if you watch the video, it may help you. You can even have your phone up doing the things as I describe them so that you can follow through. So I just want you to know that that's coming and hopefully that makes things easier for you. All right, otherwise keep, keep track here and uh, watch back for more information to be uploaded soon enough for additional COVID choirs. Thanks a lot. Hey folks, so I'm doing this screen recording from my cell phone to try to help those of you who are struggling with getting in to the materials that I have sent links to on behalf of COVID choirs and other things upcoming. Um, it occurred to me that the most difficult scenario would probably be the fact that we're using Google things, okay, which is its own email and its own materials but on an iPhone, which is an Apple product. If you have a Gmail address, then that's gonna make things a little bit easier for you with regards to using Google Drive, Google Sheets, or Google anything else. But there is a way around that on your iPhone. So I'm gonna go ahead through this process and show that to you to help you if you're struggling with it. 
If you're on a computer, this is easier because these things are not apps any longer. Um, and obviously the screen is bigger. But so let's say your scenario is that you have an uh, email address that's on file with us and you've been sent this link. Okay. Um, I did that same process to an iCloud.com address that I created just for this purpose. So I'm going to show you that right now and we're going to go through that together. So first thing I need to do is go to my mail and just so that you know what I'm doing, there's a bunch of inboxes in here, but the one I'm going to go to right now is the demo account hope music at iCloud.com. I just created that. So there it is. And now you can see at the top, boom. All right. So right here, okay, is the email blast from the other day. Hello there is a Hope Music Department email blast recipient, blah, 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 blah. That link again can be found here. Now, just so that you know, I know that there are two different links. There was a sign up sheet. I'm going to tell you, don't worry about the bottom one. Just go here. Okay. Now this is going to take you to your browser, which on an iPhone is likely going to be Safari. That's your default. Now this is important right away. At the top of the page, it says that you have the option of downloading Google Drive as an app onto your phone. I'm going to tell you not to do that right now unless you have a Gmail account. So if you are, you know, something at grew.net or if you are at Comcast, at Yahoo, at uh, Mac, any of the other places, AOL, some of you have AOL, don't do this. Uh, don't do the, the Google Drive app download right now. Okay, so we're going to go down here. And what I want to show you is that I have this option on the top left corner of seeing the link that was provided. Now, I know it's small because it's my phone, but it's still going to work just like it would if it were on your computer. It brings up the Internet browser and shows you the page right away that you can go to. Uh, you also may have another sign asking you to download the, the Drive app and say, would you like to try it? And then you'd be like, no thanks, don't want to do that right now. And then you click this, okay? Now I am in the link folder, okay? That was for, by the way, um, that was for this current COVID choir for Transfiguration. I'm going to back out of it for one second. Boop. Okay. Notice at the top that the title is COVID choirs. In the coming days and weeks, there will be more links in, or excuse me, more folders in there under COVID choirs for different events. So you won't just see Transfiguration. You will see one for Sisters in Song Lent, Brothers of Harmony Lent. You will see a Palm Sunday. You will see a trans, uh, what is it called? Uh, Tenebrae and you will see Easter. So there will be a total of six in there by the time this is finished. All right. So here we are. I'm going to do that. All right. So within Transfiguration, you have four separate and distinct folders. You want to know what it is that you're signing up for. Go to information. Okay. And depending on whether you want to read a Word document or a PDF, they are the same thing. So I'm going to go to this PDF. Boop. Okay. I can zoom in. Maybe. There it is. Zoom in. And now I can read. Your part will be done on the right side of the right ear. So what I'm looking at right now is some information about uh, singing with tracks. Okay. So copy of, maybe if I turn this, let's see if it works. All right. If you're still following me, I'm going to oops, scroll up copy of something, something tracks. All right. I know that the sign is a little bit difficult. All right. So that's there, but really details. That's the one you need. All right. So let's, let's look at details right away. It tells you what choir it is. Transfiguration. It tells you the title. It tells you the personnel who, who we're asking for men and women, both in some cases, it'll be only one or the other how many parts there are in the song. It tells you the schedule, this is important, the rehearsal schedule, how many there are, what dates and what times. And then of course the final one is also the recording, that's important. 
and then the recording wardrobe so that you know what you're going to wear in this case robes and there's some notes about in case you don't have one what to do and then a whole bunch of information i realize it's difficult to read this so you'll have to zoom it on your phone if you're reading here or perhaps you can print somehow uh, if you have a, uh, an, an a ability to print from your phone but the point is that who can join do i have to come to everything how late in the process can i sign up how do i get the music materials how do i contact uh, i know how to contact you how will you contact me once i get the materials what next what do i bring to a rehearsal recording what part should i learn what if i have other questions that weren't addressed and then at the bottom it talks about the time ranges because they're a little bit relative based on the amount of people we have and then the safety protocols regarding covid okay it's important that you know all of that is what needs to be agreed upon in advance so please read that all right that's why it's there that's the information files then sheet music there it is you can print that or you can look at it on your device and that is the entire piece if i go to that it's a pdf format and you notice i've put some notes in there so here we have soprano and alto sing the first verse tenor and bass sing the second verse so right away you know that there's something that's going to be additional from what's on the music and then down here at measure 11 all voices both verses from here okay so you'll see that i've made some notes goes down do 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 you get the idea and then at the end there's a little bit more designating because we get to more than two parts and it says soprano tenor alto and bass who does what okay that's the sheet music all right you will need to figure out how to print that to bring with you on paper all right sound files what you're looking at here is uh, files that you can't see the full names of but aside from regular accompaniment there's a soprano alto tenor bass separate so that it's a little bit louder if i go to this one this is the tenor and just so that you're aware let's see if i can get it to play is it gonna play play okay maybe it won't record and play at the same time but since my phone's doing a lot of stuff right now, that's understandable. Um, but the point is that that's in there so you can listen to it and you should hear your part dominant in the right ear with the accompaniment and the other parts lower in the left ear. <clears throat> um, you remember that sheet that I showed you the first time about uh, singing with tracks? Those are also in here so that you can read about the process of doing that and understand what it is you're doing, especially if you, have had, if you have headphones so you know what you're hearing, or if you're on a different kind of device and you have the ability to pan and turn up a little louder or a little softer in the right or left, kind of like in your car, you can do that. And finally, this is the sign-up sheet. Right here is what lets me know who wants to participate. This is after you've verified you're available for the dates and you know about all the materials so this is showing up a little funky there we go i'm going to turn it that way so right now you can see who we have signed up already if i'm going to go to the bottom i'm going to touch that hopefully maybe not let's see all right so at this point i'm locked out oh there we go what am i going to do nope all right, well, this is good for me to know. So at this point, some of you have been locked out of this process and not been able to sign up because probably you don't have the actual um, app on your phone. So if you get to that part and you're struggling to get signed up, two things. Number one, email me and we'll get you signed up this time. And then the second thing is that we're actually working to figure out a better process in the future so that these signups can be automatic and more easy and I don't have to be as involved in the process for you. So stay tuned on that. Oh look, there's a little pencil here. Let's see what that tells me. Edit with the Docs app. No thanks. Don't want to do that. Um, what if I just push the pencil again? Nope. Okay. No thanks. Don't want to edit with the Docs app. All right. None. 
Yeah, I'm just double checking. None of that works. So basically, I cannot sign up right now myself, and I'd have to email and tell somebody else to do it for me. So, understood. Still, that's a good place to be. If you get that far, you're doing good. All right, notice I just backed out and now I'm not seeing anything. Where did it go? Okay, I'm gonna go to my drive, top left. Shared with me is important. Shared with me. Boop, there it is again. Everything that was shared with you by myself is in here. Okay, and that is what you need to, to do to find that stuff. Sort by, you can sort by uh, different things and that's pretty much it now I am going to stop this video and then I'm going to start again uh, from the point at which uh, downloading Google Drive so if you are not going to download Google Drive then you can stop here alright here we go Google Drive at this point in time what I want to do is I want to download Google Drive and at this point it takes me to the app store keeping in mind of course if you have an uh, a different kind of phone google drive might actually already be on it if it's an android phone uh, you may have it already on your phone for a different purpose so you know no big deal uh, but if you don't and you want to get it because you have a gmail address you can go to the app store which is where this link took me right away and now i'm going to click that and I'm going to download it. Okay, it brings it onto your phone. And while it's doing that, I'll click out of here and I'll swing over to where it's loading. Pay no attention to the one game I have on my phone that is pretty much for when I have nothing else to do. And you can feel free to take a look at my son when he was much younger with more physical energy due to a lack of video games than he is now. Um, so this is installing and as soon as that's done I will click on Drive so this is Google Drive and of course the first thing it wants you to do when you get here is it wants you to sign up okay um, at this point it's recognizing the accounts that it already had associated with my phone and or my computer since they're linked in your case if it doesn't know your devices yet, it may not know what account you want to put on there. All right, so I'm going to pick the one I want it to attack uh, to attach itself to. If you're doing that for the first time, you're going to have to type in a password, likely. And as long as it's a Gmail account, it shouldn't be an issue. And then from there, as you can see, I'm getting access to all of these files that are already on here. Now these are things that I created because this is the account I used to create everything I sent out. Um, but understand that now you can actually see on the drive everything that I sent out and you can see all those, all those files. If I go to the folder part, you can see this. COVID choirs, that's the link I sent out. And now within there is transfiguration. Eventually there will be more than just transfiguration. Click on that. Informational files, sheet music files, sign up. So let's say sign up sheets. If you actually have Drive now and you want to go in here, all right. If I want to go to the sign up sheet now that I've got Drive, Let's see. It's, it wants me to edit in Google Docs. We'll see if I have to. Yes, I have to. It will not let me do it any other way. So if I pick edit in Google Docs, I've got to get Google Docs, which is a pain because that's a separate app. But I'm going to go ahead and do that. So if you've got the Gmail account anyway, you've got Google Drive. Now you're going to pull Google Docs in it's gonna load and we'll see what happens when that loads all right it's coming on I'm gonna navigate over to here installing right now and we'll see what happens 
you see that it's top right it's installing whenever that's done it's not done yet oh there's docs okay so let's just click on the docs app and see what it does create and edit documents blah 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 oh there's a sign in okay before I do that I just want to see what happens when I go back over here now this is the edit in Google Docs which I am going to do now it's interesting oh okay it automatically signed me in because now it detected my sign in to Google Drive as well and at this point when I touch in the right spot I get the little pencil and I bring that up and it gives me the typing so when I push in here all right we have my ability to sign my name and be a part of the choir as you can see um, I don't have to return because when I do that it gives me an extra space so after you're done your name you just finish okay and check at the top left corner boop and now you see that demo name is in there added to the list like I said this is the most difficult way to do this simply because the phone screen is small and you're dealing with apps you could do it on a computer it would be much easier and drive and docs are not things you have to download they're already in Google and even if you're using uh, Safari as your browser, you can get to that relatively easily. You don't necessarily even have to take on Chrome or anything like that, which are, are other Google things. So just showing you that that is the way, two different ways that you can get in and get this stuff done. And hopefully that helps folks, makes it, I know it's complicated, but hopefully makes it easier to be able to learn a little something about how to use your phone for this process.